Welcome back, families, to the American Family Survival Network. I'm your host, Jeffrey Snipes. This is another article from the great uh, USCCA, the United States Concealed Carry Association, um, our premier affiliate. Uh, more than ever, we're on our own. This is by John Cayley. And uh, most of us who carry a gun for personal protection realize the truth of the adage, uh, when seconds count, police are only minutes away. We understand better than most that we are always our own first responders. But while we used to worry about robbers, rapists, carjackers, or even the occasional ex-spouse out for revenge, now we have new concerns. A perfect example is what happened this past weekend in Minneapolis at a Donald Trump campaign gathering. This was not a public rally, but a private fundraising event. Yet no surprise, groups of protesters, quote unquote, showed up and it didn't take long before they became violent. Even participants trying to leave the event at the end were confronted by a screaming mob. Various victims were spit on, grabbed, pushed, and shoved. One woman had paint sprayed on her hair and down her back. It should be pointed out that each of those acts would normally constitute, at a minimum, assault and or assault and battery. There were also thefts of things like cell phones and wallets. Yet not a single arrest was made. Worse, for the most part, police officers who were on duty at the event did virtually nothing to protect the event participants. In only a few cases did individual cops intervene on behalf of those being assaulted. But before you start criticizing the cops, you should know some background. Like many cities, Minneapolis has been under Democrat rule for decades, with even more liberal policies earning it the nickname among locals, Moscow on the Mississippi. The city's officials have a history of looking the other way when confronted by unlawful and even violent demonstrations. You may recall when, when last year they allowed Black Lives Matter demonstrators to shut down major highways while chanting, what do we want? Dead cops. When do we want it? Now. And yet the powers that be not only refused to remove the protesters from the highway, they required the police to give them an escort. Thus the situation at the recent Trump event comes as no surprise. One attendee asked a cop, described as a senior officer, why they weren't doing anything to stop the harassment. He reportedly said, Lady, we would like nothing better but our hands are tied. Neither the chief of police nor the mayor would admit to any stand down order. But line police officers well insist off the record that this is exactly the case. As one cop described the situation, they won't admit it publicly, but the message has been given Lima Charlie, loud and clear. Monday morning, I got a call from a veteran Minneapolis cop I've known for many years. He confirmed what the other officers had said. He reminded me that just weeks ago, rioters were throwing rocks, bottles, and even huge chunks of concrete at Minneapolis cops, injuring more than a few. Some arrests were made in that incident, but in general, the kid glove treatment of protesters continues in Minnesota and in many other cities. What all of this means is both simple and disturbing. You and I are on our own. And unfortunately, if and when one of us has to use deadly force to protect ourselves, you can bet that there most certainly will be arrest. And it won't be the rioters who are taken away in handcuffs. So be smart, avoid trouble, and have a good attorney. Folks, that comes to us again from John Cayley of the USCCA, um, our premier affiliate. Please go to their website. Uh, you can find the link within the uh, video here uh, for great information on how to make sure that you are being a responsible gun owner and that you are protected as much as possible uh, when it comes to protecting and safeguarding your family. And remember... Uh, please go to the AmericanFamilySurvivalStore.com for all your family's emergency and survival needs. Remember, protect and safeguard your family. Fear not, and God bless. Thank you. Have a great day.